The Steyr AUG is an Austrian bullpup style rifle that was developed during the 1970s and has been adopted by the armed forces of over a dozen countries. In this maintenance series from Brownells, we'll show you how to disassemble, clean, lubricate, and reassemble the Steyr AUG A3. As always, we'll begin by removing the magazine and locking the slide back so that we can both visually and physically inspect the chambers clear. With all the ammunition removed from the work area, we can begin disassembly. Start by placing your left hand on the barrel grip and using your thumb to push the button on the barrel lock pin down. With this button depressed, turn the barrel grip sideways while also pushing the barrel forward and out of the gun. Next, move the cocking handle forward by pulling it outward, then push the receiver lock from left to right to remove the receiver and bolt carrier from the stock. These can be separated and the receiver can be set aside for cleaning. Be careful while removing these parts as they're under spring tension. With the stock vertical, depress the indentation on the butt plate to remove the retaining bolt at the rear of the stock. This allows the butt plate to be removed and the trigger mechanism to fall free from the stock. To remove the gas piston, push the pressure piece of the gas regulator in while turning it clockwise until its slot is in the same position as the nose of the gas cylinder. When it's in position, it can be removed. Then all you have to do is use the right thrust piece of the bolt carrier to push the piston out. Then its spring can be removed and both parts can be set aside for cleaning. The last thing we'll want to do is tear down the bolt carrier group. To do this, press the two wings of the anti-turn device together and turn it upwards. Then turn the firing pin counterclockwise until it pops out. Next. Press the bolt towards the back of the carrier while pressing the control bolt down and slowly release the bolt forward to remove it and its locking piece, spring, and sleeve from the receiver. All that's left to do is remove the cocking piece from the carrier and you're ready for cleaning, which we'll be covering in our next video.